Well, we have about 40 people from right across the island of Ireland representing every sector. So we have farmer and com um, community representatives, we have trade unionists, we have um, environmental activists, and then we just have concerned citizens, people who have a view on TTIP, the transatlantic trade and investment partnership that's currently being negotiated between the European Commission and the US. And over the course of this delegation's visit, they've meet, met with a number of campaigning groups, and they've also met with representatives of the Commission, so we've heard at first hand what the Commission are saying. We're here their arguments, and we know now the arguments that are needed to counter it because the reality is that TTIP, as it's currently mandated to the Commission, is going to be a bad deal for Europe, for Ireland especially, and particularly for those communities that are already vulnerable. So we've been making the point and listening to um, experts in the fields explaining to us the dangers that are um, that we're presenting for the agriculture community and particularly for Irish agriculture. We've heard the dangers that are going to be associated with workers' rights, with the environmental um, standards and regulations that we've come to expect. And we've heard about the threat to democracy that an ISDS mechanism being included within the TTIP agreement could have. So we're hoping that as a result of this delegation being over and one of the key things that we're going to do is actually set up a work plan so that this is going to be very much an action focused delegation and we're hoping to ensure that we will be at the forefront of a campaign trying to ensure that a bad TTIP deal isn't accepted by the Irish government or by the European Parliament. It's um, It's been a very informative uh, delegation uh, coming over to discuss and listen to uh, representatives of the Commission talking about TTIP, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. Um, as with all of these types of um, trade agreements, being a trade union we have key concerns uh, on behalf of our members in, in Mandate Trade Union but on behalf of all workers in Ireland. Um, the usual thing about trade agreements is that it, it, it liberalises markets. Um, one of the key concerns that we would have on TTIP is that it will liberalise the labour market. If you look at the um, workers' rights that we have across Europe, including for one instance, you know, um, statutory annual leave, where everyone uh, across Europe, every citizen, is entitled to 20 days annual leave. In the United States, they have zero annual leave. Um, one of the key concerns I would have is that we would be um, uh, competing with American workers in terms of bringing down the standards of, of, of things like annual leave, and minimum wage um, and other uh, competitive environment um, uh, elements. Um, but the, uh, I suppose for everybody I think here the key concern is the ISDS process uh, whereby it allows um, corporations to sue sovereign states uh, for basically interfering with their profits and we look at what happened between the Veolia case uh, from Marseille, the Veolia which will be familiar to a lot of people because they're installing water meters across Ireland at the moment and they run the Lewis uh, in Dublin um, they sued the Egyptian state for in increasing the minimum wage uh, last year and in November it was told I was informed that the Egyptian uh, government reversed their decision to in increase the minimum wage now that's a real threat to Irish workers um, and to the uh, to Irish society that we won't, we may not have the ability to increase our minimum wage or put in place other standards of employment like the Joint Labour Committee's uh, registered employment agreements and other uh, pieces of workplace legislation. So they're the key concerns we would have on behalf of our, our members and wider working population in Ireland. Our major concerns would be about uh, the suckler cow industry and generally the farmers we represent in the West who are farming in difficult conditions and uh, the economics of farming at the moment don't add up particularly well and we feel that uh, with the TTIP agreement uh, the suckler cow is going to be very vulnerable especially and uh, we can see that uh, there's huge problems ahead. Um, what we got from today was we see that um, where DG Agri are going with it and, and they seem to be intent on pushing on with an agreement despite the fact that there is huge concerns for the beef industry and the suckler cow industry so um, I think as, as an organisation we need to mobilise ourselves and make farmers aware of what's going on to um, try and get public representatives to realise that uh, there's huge issues with TTIP and uh, that really a lot of it is to benefit multinational companies and there are no benefits whatsoever to farmers, uh, only threats to their existence. Because there's already huge pressure on Irish farmers to try and maintain the livelihood. There's already huge pressure on, uh, on within the European uh, marketplace and within the European regulatory mechanisms. So like, uh, 
what, what we'd like to see is more uh, or like a really return to more localised production or production systems which are more in harmony with the place, uh, with the geographical location and, and less of a direction which moves towards this world marketplace and well, all we're hearing is more of the same stuff so what they're, really, what we're hearing is, 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 is they're going to make a bad situation worse and we'd, they're going further, further away from the direction we'd like to see them move which is towards something which would respect sort of uh, food sovereignty and the rights of people to define their own food and agricultural systems to have sustainable locally based production healthy food for, for people and more farmers as opposed to less and I think this is certainly about having less farmers and that's not what we want to see. Oh, <laughs>